hello everyone and welcome to the channel in this video guys i'm going to guide how to troubleshoot the issue usb not recognized or not connecting on your windows 11 or 10 the steps will be same so first of all guys you need to make sure that your usb is connected properly on your computer if it is properly connected so you can change your port sometime what happens that due to some port restrictions like you are using 2.0 port and it is not supported on your windows 3.0 as well so try to change the port on your computer and see if that is working for you or not if still not working what we can do is we can open the control panel and sometime due to the suspicious and the select here the large icons once you select the large icons, you need to go to power options. Then go to your plan, whatever plan you have chosen. Let's say you have chosen the high performance. Under that option, you need to go to change power plan. Then you need to click on this option, change advanced power plan. If th that is grayed out, you should be able to see another options that is unavailable. Open that option. And under this option, you need to look for your USB setting. In my windows, there is no USB setting, but in your windows, if it is like that, like USB setting. So for your reference, I have taken the screenshot. You can see here USB setting. Then you need to expand USB selective suspend setting. And under that option, you need to disable both the options here if only one option is showing up here you need to make sure that you should disable this option and once you apply this setting now replug it into your computer or laptop and see if that is working for you or not if that is still not working for you guys what you can do is you can open the device manager and under the device manager you need to expand your usb serial bus controller and under that usb connection manager options here so first of all you need to open this usb serial bus controller expand that and go to usb root hub this option right click on it go to its properties and go to power options and allow the computer to turn off this device to save the power untick this option then click on ok and do the same setting with this as well now once you've done this setting guys sometime what happens that your pc or your laptop has lower power so that's why it is not connecting now after untaking this option this will not try to save the power on your computer and it will fix your issue if any yellow explanation mark is showing up here while you're connecting on that you need to right click on it and disable it once and once you disable it once you need to right click on it and then re-enable it additionally you can right click on it and update for drivers if that is showing already updated you can check for update drivers on your computer and see restart your windows and see if that is able to fix your issue or not Hopefully, after applying these methods, your issue will be fixed. And if your issue is still not resolved, we can open the command prompt as admin and hit this command sfc space forward slash scan now. This issue happens sometime due to Windows power corruption and Windows OS corruption. You can see here if you are getting this issue, so you have to restart your Windows restart an update and try to run this command again after that and hopefully your issue will be fixed after that so these are the fixes to fix the, this issue guys i hope your issue is fixed now if your issue is fixed then hit like subscribe and share thank you thanks for watching